We humans tend to really enjoy the sun. It helps you get out of bed in the morning. Strengthens your bones with vitamin D and might ward off a seasonal form of depression. The sun is about 333,000 times the mass of Earth and produces the same amount of energy as 100 billion hydrogen bombs every second. This energy has allowed life to flourish throughout most of Earth's history. So what would happen to that life if the sun were blocked for years? What would Earth be like without the sun? Could humanity survive? In the past, volcanic eruptions have spewed huge amounts of ash in the atmosphere that temporarily cause a cooling of the planet and stop photosynthetic activity. Giant asteroid impacts can also have this effect. Usually, the ash and soot eventually settle and photosynthesis kicks in again and life picks up. If the sun were actually blocked out, the entire food chain of most higher organisms, including humans, would be disrupted. Life would not cease to exist. There are plenty of microorganisms and extremophiles that don't require sunlight. But if the disruption lasts too long, the life that survives on Earth would not greatly resemble the life that exists now. Thus, the Earth will not immediately be cold and dark, but the planet's temperature would drop to about minus 17.8 degrees Celsius over the course of the week. That's certainly chilly, but it's not enough to freeze off the human race and other form of life on the planet. Not right away, at least. Sunlight is key for photosynthesis, the process that generates breathable oxygen. Although the current supply of oxygen is enough to last a thousand years or so, plant life will struggle to survive in these dark conditions. The complications that all these effects would have on the animals would be extremely noticeable. With the food chain's bottom tier knocked out, most animals would die off quickly, but scavengers picking over the dead remains could last until the cold killed them. At this point, it would be make or break for humanity. We'd probably have to pool together and build a few nuclear fusion reactors in order to last a while. Another option is geothermal energy, which is already in use in Iceland, or head to a different planet with more habitable conditions. It would take about a full year for surface temperatures to plummet to minus 73.3 degrees Celsius. By that time, the top layers of the oceans of the world would have frozen over, transforming Earth into an ice world. But just like deep lakes in winter, only the surface would freeze, leaving a liquid ocean underneath. If any humans survived this extreme transformation, their only refuge would be near geothermal vents on the ocean floor. These vents emit heat that wells up from the center of the Earth. This way of life would be miserably dark and lonely, and it is difficult to know whether humans would last long under these conditions. On the other hand, the animals that live around these vents today would continue surviving for billions of years after the sun vanished. That's because these animals don't need the sun to live. Instead, they get their food and energy from the heat coming out of these geothermal vents. A lack of sunlight will have wiped out all other smaller plants by now, but the larger trees would still survive for a few decades without the need to photosynthesize. This is due to their slower metabolisms and large sugar storage capacities. The Earth would eventually stabilize around negative 240 degrees Celsius for a few million years while geothermal energy is still working. Although the frozen top layers of the oceans would insulate the deep waters below, they would eventually freeze. At these outrageously cold temperatures, it's most likely that our atmosphere will freeze as well and collapse to the surface, opening Earth up to the harmful rays of the cosmos and most probably meteor impacts. 
Oddly enough, this ice ball Earth resembles some of the moons around Jupiter that astrobiologists suspect could harbor extraterrestrial microbes. Well, not a lot of good would come out of the sun's sudden disappearance. Life without our solar system's only star would be rather uncomfortable, to say the least. In other words, you should buy a good coat while you can.